From the ancient pyramids to the modern super tall skyscrapers, we have always strived to build higher and higher. Thanks to innovations in technology and architecture, buildings are now taller than ever before. However, reaching the 1,000 meter milestone still seems far away. In this video, we'll take a closer look at three failed attempts to surpass the 829 meter tall Burj Khalifa, which is currently the tallest skyscraper in the world. Before we continue, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Top Luxury. Let us know what you think about the following mega tall skyscrapers in the comments below. Number 3. The Jetta Tower Let's start with the much talked about Jetta Tower. Previously known as the Kingdom Tower, it will be the centerpiece of the $20 billion commercial and residential project, the Jetta Economic City. Rising up to at least one kilometer tall, the Jetta Tower will take the throne of the tallest building in the world upon completion. The skyscraper will serve as a symbol of modernization of the desert state of Saudi Arabia. According to the plans, it will boast at least 200 stories and have the highest observation deck in the world at 664 meters off the ground. Equipped with the latest technology, you can reach this deck by elevator in about one minute. Besides its height, the building will feature a five-star hotel, residential tiers, and office floors. At such great heights, the tower will have to deal with high wind pressures. To overcome that obstacle, the Jetta Tower will change shape every few floors. An all-glass facade and the use of LED lights on the exterior will give the Jetta Tower an exquisite look. Building such a sky-piercing piece of architecture requires the top skills and a lot of monetary and political backing. As it turns out, a lot can go wrong when you embark on such an enterprising project. Construction on the Jetta Tower started way back in April 2013, with an estimated completion time of 63 months. The timeline was a bit ambitious, and a few delays were expected. After a steady start, the project suffered a major blow at the back end of 2017, owing to the Saudi Arabian purge. Prince Al-Walid bin Talal and Bakr bin Laden, two of the most important backers of the project, were arrested on corruption charges. Both of these men were released a few months later, but only after signing settlements that allow the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to control most of their assets. In addition to that, further labor issues occurred, and the construction was stopped in January 2018. Apparently, the contractor, Saudi Bin Laden Group, could not acquire the funds to keep the construction moving. At the time of stopping, the tower had already risen to 252 meters, and the number of floors had reached 60. Since then, there hasn't been any progress of note so far, although the construction was scheduled to restart in 2020. In February, they posted a video to their Twitter page promoting the tower. The footage included an image of the elongated building featuring the words Vision 2030 Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Going by this information, the earliest date for the completion of the Jeddah Tower could be 2030, which is still a decade away. A lot can happen in that time, which makes it almost completely unpredictable to say whether or not it will ever be finished. Number 2. The Dubai Creek Tower When we use the expression, talking to the sky, the Dubai Creek Tower is as close as it gets. Built at a distance of only 8 kilometers from the Burj Khalifa, it will keep ownership of the title of tallest structure firmly within Dubai. While there hasn't been any official statement on the actual height, multiple reports project the height of the Dubai Creek Tower at 1,350 meters. This mega-tall structure will highlight the waterfront community, the Dubai Creek Harbor. The harbor will serve as a new district in Dubai and was approved by the Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates in February 2016. The Dubai Creek Tower will be developed by Imar Properties, the same developer that built the Burj Khalifa. The project is designed by Swiss-Spanish architect Santiago Calatrava, who has previously designed projects such as the World Trade Center Transportation Hub and the Milwaukee Art Museum. 
The tall structure of the Dubai Creek Tower will be supported by steel cables connected to anchors on the ground on two sides. The tower will only have 20 occupied floors, housing 10 observation decks and a hotel. The most impressive highlight is the observation deck, which would provide a 360-degree view of the city. The construction on the Dubai Creek Tower started in 2016. The 75-meter deep foundation contains over 200,000 tons of concrete, which is half the weight of the One World Trade Center. It was completed in May 2017. Just a year later, concrete placement for the tower's pile cap was completed two months ahead of schedule. But the construction on the tower was halted just when the excitement over a quick finish was building up. The construction stopped in late 2018 and was officially put on hold in April 2020 due to the coronavirus. This gave strength to rumors that the project may be canceled altogether. Emar Properties, the project's main developer, strongly disputed these claims and insisted that the tower will be completed by 2022. Even though the people behind the project are optimistic, the economic hurdles may prove too much for the tower. The world is facing a global health crisis, the prices of oil have fallen, and Dubai, the city in lockdown, is feeling the effects. There's an oversupply of homes and offices in a property market which is already on a downward spiral. The plans to complete a 1,000-meter-plus tall showpiece in these circumstances may just be a bridge too far. Number 1. The Burj Mubarak Al-Kabir Let's now extend this journey further into the Middle East to Kuwait, the destination of another 1,000-meter-tall skyscraper. We're talking about the Burj Mubarak Al-Kabir. Another contender to take the Burj Khalifa's crown, the Burj Mubarak Al-Kabir will rise up to exactly 1,001 meters. The height is so specific because it's a reference to a classic folktale, 1001 Arabian Nights. The mammoth structure, proposed in 2007, will be the centerpiece of the ambitious $80 billion construction project, Medina Tal Harir, or the City of Silk. The structure is predicted to cost over $7 billion and will have not one, but three interlocked towers to provide support against 240 km per hour winds. Each of the three towers, built like blades, will twist 45 degrees for strength and then expand at the top. This will give the Burj Mubarak Al-Kabir more usable space near the top compared to other mega-tall skyscrapers. The tower will also see the first-ever architectural deployment of vertical ailerons, the flaps normally used on airplanes to counter wind disturbances. The ailerons will run vertically along the six leading edges of the three blades, reflecting sunlight from the surface. This will add a dynamic sparkle to the tower. The building will be composed of seven vertical villages, containing hotels, offices, residential apartments, and entertainment facilities. The details of the project are fascinating, but unfortunately, no construction has been done so far. The project is still at proposal stage since 2007, and we can only speculate on whether the record-shattering skyscraper will ever be built. Architect Robert Kuhn, the London-based chief designer of the Burj Mubarak Al-Kabir, died in 2016, adding to the uncertainty surrounding the project. As per the latest reports, Kuwait signed an agreement with China in 2019 to build the City of Silk. However, rail networks and a seaport will be prioritized in the project, delaying the expected completion date of the Burj Mubarak Al-Kabir to 2030. In fact, construction won't even start up again until 2023. The Burj Khalifa was built in 2009, just as the world was coming out of the 2008 global financial crisis. Much of the work, however, was done before the crisis when the economies were booming. The ambitious projects featured on today's video, however, are nowhere close to being completed. The economic downturn that the world is suffering due to the COVID-19 pandemic will take its toll on the plans for these skyscrapers. Building billion-dollar structures in failing markets might not be feasible for even the best of economies. Construction on all three skyscrapers is currently on hold. The economic burden from the pandemic will add to the existing obstacles in the completion of these majestic structures. 
So we can safely predict that Dubai's Burj Khalifa is set to remain the tallest skyscraper in the world for the foreseeable future. What do you think about these skyscrapers? Would you like to see them finished? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Top Luxury. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.